foundation has been around in the Middell community since 1989. In order to support the education of students in Middell and support the educators who work so hard for those students. Over the years, this foundation has really uh, brought the community together to be just a part of this process of, of turning out excellent students through the Middell system. Middell's just, you know, so special. And I think what makes it different than a lot of districts is the community support that we have, including the foundation. Everyone, everywhere, it just seems like they always pull together. And I think that's so important that a community works together because none of us can do this alone. Currently, the foundation supports um, a bot ball program, which is a robotics program for students in every single school in the district. It gives students an opportunity to learn science, technology, engineering, and math. One of the things we've looked at with STEM is finding programs that allow kids to really be creative, innovative, but that they also are able to really get in depth their problem solving and applying their math and science skills. Um, the Middale School Foundation um, has helped us tremendously. They also are learning collaboration and resilience and all kinds of amazing things from designing, building, and programming robots and going to competitions with them. Our team from Steed Elementary did a lot of the programming. They just couldn't quite get it dialed in to where it went through the challenge and did what it was supposed to do. Got very close. At the end of the competition, we ended about noon that day, they were begging their coach um, to call Miss Tucker, the principal of Steed, to see if she can open up the school because they wanted to go back to school because they were not finished coding yet. Elementary kids begging to go back to school on a Saturday. Um, doesn't get much better than that. We also provide uh, funding for the Homeless Student Education Fund that serves students who are probably the most at-risk students in our district. There are currently 2,334 homeless children in the Middell School District because homeless does not mean that you are living in your car, living on the street. Homeless means that you're unstable. The foundation a couple years back received a donation for the homeless kids and it has been absolutely vital um, because when we have all these homeless kids the needs pop up immediately. Sometimes if you're homeless you don't have extra clothes, you don't know where your next meal is coming from, uh, so you need just basic needs met as well as you know, you might be in the park tonight, you might be at Grandma's in Choctaw tomorrow, so you, sometimes you need a bus to pick you up and you need somebody to be able to call to help uh, get you to and from school. And sometimes school is the only stable link that you have in your life. My name is Cassie and I am married. I have three kids. I went to Dell City Elementary um, and then Kerr and Dell City High School. My mom got involved in drugs and stuff like that and it just got too bad for my brothers to be there so I actually went down and filed a uh, temporary custody of my brothers. I later got grant, granted guardianship of them. When they came to me they had no clothes. Basically they needed everything. And so thanks to the donations from the foundation we were able to get the boys cleaned up. She took them to get haircuts. The school helped a lot with getting them clothes. They went out and bought them clothes and um, they helped with food and they actually helped out with Christmas. When she needs additional help, we're able to go to the grocery store and get food that she needs. So we try to provide whatever will allow the kids to maintain a constant attendance in school. I have three kids of my own, so I definitely wasn't ready to take on teenagers. My kids are pretty young. I would like to say thank you to everyone that has contributed. Um, it's really helped my family out, and without y'all, we wouldn't have the things that we have now. So I'm really thankful for that. And we also, this year, started once again providing grants to classroom teachers and school sites with our Excellence in Education grant program. And this year we were so pleased that because of amazing, generous donations from our community, we were able to offer almost $18,000 in grants to teachers and classrooms. I can't even tell you what a blessing it is to us as educators. Um, we already pour ourselves into the classroom financially and there's so many things that we want to do that we can envision that we just can't do because of finances and the foundation is just an incredible, incredible asset to us in the Middell District and I cannot even begin to thank you enough for all that you've done and for sharing the funds with us. It, it's incredible. We love being able to partner with the district in, in providing excellence in education all year round. They're looking for ways to help students and help teachers and, and they get very creative about that. And so that we have things that 
uh, we wouldn't have if we were strictly dependent upon state funding. I just want um, Middale to know that I am so proud to, to work for them and to know how much we appreciate their support. Every once in a while people ask me, what, do you, what kind of investments do you have? And I say, I just invest in kids. That's my investment. And I, I'm so thankful that that foundation has that philosophy too. They invest in children.